for Mother Earth. These are the women of Miss Earth 2009. Let's go! There is no better place on Earth to party and celebrate the wonders of Mother Earth and right here on the world-famous island of Boracay, Philippines. Definitely the perfect host for the only international pageant staged to promote and preserve our global environment. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark, Sarah, and yours truly, Borgi, welcome you to Miss Earth 2009. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. To start us off, the first out of the 16 is Poland. Joining Poland is Korea! And next we have Brazil! Come forward, Colombia! Come on down, Thailand! And we call on Northern Ireland. My dear friends, Philippines! Next we have South Africa. Joining the top 16 is France! Okay, ladies, next we have Singapore! Georgia, come on down! Martinique! Miss Georgia and Miss Martinique joining the top 16. And now we have the last three slots, ladies. And we call on India. Only two more names to be called. The second to the last one being Venezuela! Okay, ladies. One, one slot left. Who do you think is going to go in in the last 16? Come on, tell us, everybody. This is your chance to show your support for a candidate that is not up there yet. Who do you think number Who's 16 next? Who's is? Who's next? Well, I'd like to call on Paraguay. From 
Among you, only one will emerge as Miss Earth 2009. And our first competitive round happens to be my favorite. Really now? Audience, please let me know who do you think will outshine the rest as our top 16 candidates show their best assets wearing their very eye-catching swimwear. Well, we are Issa is a 23-year-old photographer. One of her most recent snapshots is an aerial picture of the Red Sea taken while on a parachute.
experience she has ever had. Paraguay! Gabby is a 20-year-old commercial engineering student. Respect, honesty, and love of family are three principles she values in life. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our top 16 all together on stage, side by side, for all of you to see who among them looks best in their swimsuit, especially designed for this pageant by Ricky Abad. Up next, we will bid farewell to one star... I was prepared to be a great representative for my country, but not to go from one crown to the next. And that was one of the most emotional moments of my life. I have been fortunate to be given the privilege of being a part of so many people's lives. I will forever be grateful to my Rajal family for their undying faith, trust, and love that they have shown me at all times. To my family and friends, you will always be my rock, and I thank you for motivating me. To my fellow queens, Miriam, Abby, and Tatiana, I will never forget all the crazy fun we shared, and I look forward to getting together with you again in Super Poderosas. To Mr. Ramon Mazon and Ms. Lorraine Schick, and the rest of my Carousel family, thank you for accepting me and imparting in me lessons in life that I will always cherish and value. To Georgia Felix Velarde, a woman who inspired and influenced our lives, both as beauty queens and as young Filipinos. We can only strive to live life with as much grace and passion as you lived yours. We deeply miss and will always love you, Tita Joji, and hope that you will forever be watching over us. To the Filipino people and my fellow Cebuanos, victory or defeat lies in our own efforts. Let us love our beautiful country. Finally, to our Lord and Savior, thank you. I would like to remind this year's delegates that coming to the Philippines for this competition is only the beginning of your journey for Mother Earth. The crown is not what makes one a queen. It is what one does during and after her reign that will determine if she was indeed deserving and worthy of being Miss Earth. The crown will be passed on, but the responsibilities will not. Thanks to Miss Earth, I look with confidence at the future of my country and our planet. Thank you for a memorable year. Daghang Salama. Good evening, Carla. Hi, Carla. How are you? Okay, Carla, we've got to ask you a couple of questions. So, if you have to choose one day from the whole year that you reigned as Miss Earth 2008, which day is the most memorable and why? Oh, if I have to choose one day, it's very difficult. There's so many great days, but I think I would have to choose the coronation night of Miss Earth 2008. I think that was a redefining moment of my entire reign, and that led to so many other great days and great memories, and meeting all so many wonderful people. So definitely that day. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, Carla, one year as reigning Miss Earth. What do the next 10 years hold for Carla Henry? The next 10 years, wow, if only I could look into the future. <laughs> I would probably be a very lucky girl, but all I know for now is that I know I'll still have my friends with me, I'll still have my family there, and of course, I will forever be with my carousel, <laughs> carousel family, my friends, so definitely just more great things to come. I love you so much, everybody. Well done, Carla. You've made us Filipinos all very, very proud, and we wish you only the best. Absolutely. Now, who will look the best in the glamorous evening gown competition? Stay tuned and see for yourselves. The evening gown competition begins with our first finalist, Poland. Oh, my God. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Brazil! Miss Larissa Ramos. All right, who could the next one be? A big round of applause, please, for Poland, Isabel Wiltek. And here we go, approaching the halfway mark, ladies and gentlemen, Martinique Pascal Lelig. All right. We're halfway through, there's only four spots left. One lady that can breathe a little bit easier is Spain, Alejandra Pedrajas. Joining her friends on stage is Venezuela, Jessica Barbosa. All right, I think a lot of people here may be eager to hear this one. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Philippine, Sandra Seifer. And we have one more slot to round up the top eight for Miss Earth 2009. Who is your final candidate? I can't hear them, Sarah. I'm not sure I hear anything in particular. Pardon me. Who is your favorite candidate? Oh, that's tough. Rounding out the top eight for Miss Earth 2009 is... Colombia! Alejandra castillo Monera. Take a look at that screen over there. <laughs> okay, time starts now. She can begin her response now, just 30 seconds. สวัสดีค่ะภาพที่ได้เห็นในจอมอนิเตอร์นี้เป็นภาพของภัยพิบัติความแห้งแล้งที่เกิดจากผลของสภาวะโลกร้อนซึ่งฉันยืนอยู่
Okay, please take a look at the screen over there. Okay, Miss Poland, your time starts now. Uh, flood is the uh, catastrophe with, with which touch uh, many countries, uh, but uh, it is caused by uh, our lack of knowledge because we cause the flood and uh, every environmental uh, catastrophe. So we have to be aware what we uh, have to do and can't do uh, to our Mother Earth because. Uh, um, it's uh, very important to be aware of these catastrophes. Okay. Sorry, time is up. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Poland. Next up, we have Martinique. Martinique, do you need an interpreter? Can I explain to her? It needs to look at the photos and it needs to describe how you see the photos. And you have only 30 minutes, 30 seconds to do it. Donc vous le, vous le faire tout voilà pas par les photos que vous voyez. All right, please take a look at the picture. Okay, Miss Martinique, your time starts now. Je tiens à préciser que j'ai très 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 peur du feu. Je trouve ça tellement tellement désastreux de voir à quel point l'homme crée des choses et voilà, le feu s'installe comme ça et brûle nos forêts. C'est vraiment 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 très triste et je pense qu'il est grand temps que chacun d'entre nous fasse quelque chose pour que ce genre d'accident n'arrive pas. Merci. Uh, when, when, I, when I look at the fire, it really, really makes me very sad and very, very afraid because of what I can see, what man is capable of doing. And it's time that we should do our something about this ourselves because that's the only thing that we can do ourselves. Excellent. Thank you very much, Ms. Martinique. Okay. Good evening, Ms. Spain. Do you need a translator? Yes. Hello. All right. Please take a look at the screen over there. Okay, your time begins now. Good evening, Philippines. Pues en esa imagen he visto un mundo en el cual vivimos, el cual cada día está por desgracia, desgraciadamente perdón, empeorando y, y me duele que empeorando y nosotros pudiendo mejorarlo con nuestras manos, con solo poner un granito de arena, eso duele mucho. Así que pienso que, que por favor que todos pongamos nuestro granito de arena porque mm, por poca cosa que hagamos... She sees the world we live in, which is a world that is being destroyed little by little. And she feels sad that we are not doing enough to save it. And she wants every one of us to put our grain of sand to save the world. Thank you very much, Ms. Spain. And uh, Ms. Vezin Venezuela, would you need a translator? No, that's OK. I'm, going to not, I'm just going to give a brief message. People, it's time to react. It's time to do something. It's time to fight against world destructions. We all can do something, because little things do count. So embrace your, embrace your duty. Do something. Remember that beauty with a cause is not just a concept, it's a lifestyle. Okay, thank you for that message. And would you please look at the photo? Have to Okay, Miss Venezuela, you have 30 seconds to comment on that, starting now. Garbage. People, it's our fault. It's there because of us. We all can do something. 
Embrace your duty. Try to do something. Change is one world. It's our home. Love it as it loves you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Venezuela. Good evening, Ms. Philippines. Good evening, Borgi. Okay, please take a look at the screen over there. Okay, your time starts now. We have just seen clear images of water pollution, a principal problem also in my country. And as previously seen, garbage is directly linked to water pollution. What we must understand is that we are the root of all these problems. But fear not, because we are also the solution. So please, in times of crisis, such as these environmental crises, please, please embrace opportunity, because we can make a change. It starts now. This is a time for leaders to be born and for new creativity and innovations to happen. Please, please take note of this. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Philippines. Okay. Our final finalist is Miss Colombia. Okay, please explain to her that she needs to uh, look at the picture and then explain. All right, please take a look at the photo. Miss Colombia, your time starts now. Bueno, en estas imágenes vemos otro de los problemas grandes que tenemos ambientales. El exceso de poder, la inconsciencia y la falta de educación eh, son producto, eh, ese es el resultado de, de estos factores. Eh, el mundo es para compartirlo con los demás seres y nosotros como seres racionales debemos hacer algo, no debemos abusar de nuestro poder. Muchas gracias. In the images, she sees uh, abuse of power and lack of education, and she feels that this is very bad and it uh, should be changed, especially the abuse of, of power. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Colombia. Welcome back, and please, a big round of applause for our eight finalists for Miss Earth 2009. You could cut the tension with a knife in here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ramon Dizon, partner, CSIP Garza Valayo and Company. May we please have the final envelope? Thank you very much. From among our top eight finalists, four will have titles, one of which is Miss Earth 2009. All right, we're going to start with Miss Earth Fire. And she is from. Spain, Alejandra Echevilla Pedrajas. <laughs> Presenting the award for Miss Fire is Miss Ping Valencia, Vice President for External Relations, Carousel Productions, and Miss Catherine Untalan, Miss Earth Water 2006, and Executive Director of the Miss Earth Foundation. Okay, next we have Miss Earth Water. And she is Venezuela, Jessica Barbosa. To award Miss Water is Miss Pichi Veneracion, Vice President and Project Director for Carousel Productions, and Miss Catherine Untalan. The tension is reaching its peak with only two titles left, Miss Earth Air and Miss Earth. Ladies and gentlemen. Miss Earth Air is... Philippines, Miss Sandra Seifert. Toward Miss Air is Miss Lorraine Shook, Executive Vice President for Carousel Productions, and Miss Catherine Untalan. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 
Only Miss Earth left. Who among the five finalists will win the crown? What do you think? All right, everybody. This is your last chance Come on. now. There are five lovely five. ladies up here, and only one of them is going home with a crown. Who do you think it's going to be? Come on, everybody. Let us know. Let us know. The crowd is on their feet, ladies and gentlemen. Right, this is it. This is the moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the culmination of the 2009 Miss Earth pageant. Miss Earth for 2009 is Brazil! To award Miss Earth 2009 is Mr. Ramon Monzon, the president of Carousel Productions, and Miss Carla Paula Henry, Miss Earth 2008. Congratulations, Miss Larissa Ramos of Brazil. From Boracay, Philippines, this has been Borgi Talk. I'd like to give special thanks to Jerome Larico. And I'm Sarah Meyer, thanking Vijay Floresca and Alex Pigau for creating my exquisite gowns. I must say, you do look marvelous, Sarah. You? Well, guys, on behalf of ABS-CBN and Carousel Productions, this is Mark Nelson thanking you all for watching, and good night. See you next year for Mr. Earth 2010. 2010.